Why did you take money from my account? Your account? It's our account and I need to pay our bills. God damn it, just because I don't have a job doesn't mean you can go around spending this money however you want, yeah? You're kidding me, right? I never spend money on anything for me or for Leah, and the only thing you spend money on is for alcohol. Oh, for fuck's sake. If it's our money and our account, can't I spend the money however the fuck I want? DJ, please. If I don't pay the bills, then who will? I'm trying my best for this family. So could you. Stop throwing this money around in my face, yeah? And don't act like you're the only woman who's earned a fucking paycheck for a family. Don't forget, if it wasn't for my last job, you wouldn't have this roof over your head. DJ, don't ever say that to me again. I told you I'm trying. Sometimes I felt like I had no one. I mean, my parents didn't even realize I was there. I thought good grades would impress them, and for a while they did impress my mom, but eventually my dad's addiction overshadowed everything. My mom stopped caring to even ask for my report card, let alone attend parent-teacher conferences. That's when I realized if they didn't care, why the fuck should I? Why should a stupid arbitrary A on a test matter when I had my next high to look forward to? Sometimes, when I get that perfect high, I dream about the ways my life could have turned out differently. You know, imagine what could have been. What if my dad hadn't lost his job 10 years ago? What if he actually verbalized his feelings? What if he didn't constantly project his misery on us? What if instead of reaching for the next drink, he reached out to my mom and talked it out? What if he didn't take my mom's unconditional love for granted? What if he actually made an effort to attend family events and have movie nights with me and my mom? What if one of his friends or family members reached out to him and asked if he needed help instead of avoiding the topic? What if a friend or family member reached out to my mom at least once and asked if she needed help? What if my mom hadn't been raised being told that women should sacrifice everything for their family? What if she hadn't been told that divorce wasn't an option in our culture? What if she had been told that she was enough? What if she had been told that she would make it as a single mom? What if she didn't love my dad so much and simply considered letting him go? What if she realized that the pain of a divorce can sometimes hurt less than the pain of a broken marriage? And for me, What if I was more understanding of my mom and realized that leaving someone you love isn't easy? What if I acknowledged that my dad was in pain and that his alcoholism was a cry for help? What if my parents, instead of being so caught up in their own problems, spent time helping me with my homework, congratulating me on that A, and dropping me off to dance class like I watched all the other parents do? What if my dad said the words I love you to me just once after the age of 10? What if I tried to help my mom through it all instead of always running away to the next party? What if I hadn't taken that first pill? What if I developed real friendships or found someone I felt comfortable with to talk through what I was going through? What if I graduated college with two proud supportive parents by my side? What if, what if, what if? Then maybe I wouldn't be as fucked up as I am today. Or maybe I still would be.